Hey YouTubers, 40 Plusers, and my subscribers. Hi, subscribers. So, today we are gathered to see what I think are my 2014 favorites. Take, take into account that I have only been reintroducing makeup into my daily routine since August. Five months. Okay? Okay. So, made a list because they're favorites, right? And I wanted to make sure I had them out. Um, the first favorite of the day, I'm trying to pick, is the Othermal by Avin. This is a pH balanced water mist. And during the middle of the day, I get very dry, my eyes dry out, so I'm putting eye drops in. This is just a nice fresher, refresher. Water mist. Um, perfume, my favorite right now for the last month or so, Sexual Sugar. I don't know if that's going to show up. Uh, this is, I think, Mikel Germain, Sexual Sugar. It's yumminess in a bottle. Um, Longtime Candle favorite uh, is, I want to get it ready, Sweetheart's Red Velvet Cake. You can see there's little hard inserts in there. I burn the heck out of this one. And it doesn't seem to evaporate. It's kind of a cross between an oil. The candles, the little hearts, are wax. But the red stuff is like a gel or an oil. So it doesn't go away. I love it. Love, love, love. Favorite cocktail. Um... I've been making these since middle of November, um, and they're now a weekly staple. We're calling them Normandy Normandy Rose. It's a shaker with sour mix, uh, sparkling water, uh, apple brandy. Uh, I prefer prefer uh, Bushnell Calvados, um, but there's a million apple brandies out there. Uh, sweetened roses, lime juice, sweetened grenadine, and the, and then the sour mix. Pour it in the shaker with some ice. Shake the sh bejesus out of it until the sour mix is dissolved and it's all white and foamy. And strain it into a tumbler over ice. Normandy Rose, favorite cocktail. Um, nails. I do my nails a lot. I have three favorites that have come out of the five months. Wet and Wild Mega Last in Wet Cement. Wet Cement. It looks like what it says. And it lasts. I think I got five or six days out of that. Covergirl Outlast Stay Brilliant in Inferno. This is, was originally a limited edition from the uh, Hunger Games Capital Collection and they made it, made it permanent, which I'm so thankful. It's a deep red with tons of gold shimmer and gold glitter. And you've seen me wear this. Inferno. And to stay on the sparkly shinies, Julep Missy. Yes, Julep Missy. This is a titanium chrome metallic. It is just so high shine, it's almost a mirror. I love Missy. Love, 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 love. Love, 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 love. Even us 40 plusers, 
have spots and blemishes that come out and so my go-to blemish treatment um, before they pop and before they come to the surface and if they come to the surface afterwards is Desert Essence uh, Blemish Touch Stick and this is a tea tree oil um, treatment but it's not 100% tea tree oil because that I have I actually get a, a chemical burnt patch and skin falls off so that's too strong for me but this is just right and it's on a roller ball um, elf poreless face primer I don't know if this is new but I really like this especially for the price now it's my favorite right now, but I am trying other poor treat, poor minimizing treatments and face primers. Um, so we'll see if this makes it to, as the favorite through 2015. Um, let's jump to the eyes. Clinique High Impact Mascara. Now this is this is a baby baby size. Um, I'm trying to use it up before I repurchase. Uh, natural bristle brush, long but tapered at the last fifth of it. Really nice. Stays on. Doesn't run even with my allergy eyes. Doesn't run. Clinique High Impact Mascara. Solid go to. Eyeliners. I picked two. I picked a coal. Uh, the coal is from L'Oreal. It's called Le Plum. I'm not going to swatch for you because we'll be here all day. This is a dark purple plum colored eyeliner. I use it all the time. And the entire line, still a stay all day waterproof liquid eyeliner. These are the ones with a pretty skinny felt tip and I have a bunch of colors in this and you can literally lay it across the lash line. You don't have to paint the line. You can kind of stamp it on and get your first, first application and then go in and swoop it. Really nice liners. Plus they don't move. crash. Um, a few more things for the eyes. Maybelline Master Shape Eyebrow Pencil in soft brown. So it's got the soft brown pencil on the end and spoolie on the other end, which I'm not going to show you because it's dirty. So there's that much left. Loved that thing. Mm. Elf HD Under Eye Setting Powder. Uh, fabulous! I feel no need to try other under eye setting powders. No need. i just stay with this. It does the job great price can't be beat. Um, also from e.l.f. the translucent HD powder for all over. If I'm feeling particularly tacky, some I'm doing different foundation and primer combination testing and some of them don't sit and set well together and so I poof that on and it calms everything right down. So that's awesome. Um, also for the eye, and this is also my brush favorite, I have two of them. Elf Flawless Concealer Brush. And it looks like this. 
I use one to blend my eyeshadows and I use one white tape on it uh, for under eye setting as it fits perfectly. You can get up the side of your nose up in the uh, dark circle spot there and it just fill, fits everything nicely. And I can also um, set if I put concealer around my nose or spots, I can set them. Love that brush. Uh, eyeshadows. Favorite single eyeshadow, NYX Rust in ES15. I wear this in the crease all the time. Anytime I'm doing a look with the Monarch palette, anytime I'm doing a look with um, other single eyeshadows or trios, I use this NYX Rust in the crease all the time. It's stunning. Super pigmented, super easy. It's a little harder to blend for me, but the payoff is so worth it and it stays put. Nick's Rust, favorite single. Um, favorite trio, quad, or five pan. And I came up with a quad. And this was the first quad I purchased in this new makeup embrace. And this is a L'Oreal Color Riche quad and the shade is Stacked Heels 524. You can see it like that. So it's got this light lavender, this medium purple highlight shade, and this crease blending shade. It's, it's a complete look all in one. I totally dig it. Totally dig it. And I use it in different combinations. Sometimes I put this on the lid. Sometimes I put this on the lid. Sometimes I put this on the lid. That's awesome. Stacked heels. L'Oreal. Favorite trio quad quint. This video is getting really long, but I'm going to try to go a little faster. Um, I really wanted to purchase the Naked 3, but... Budget constraints forced me to hold off and I was just looking at it and looking at it and watching videos and then I started looking at alternatives to the Naked 3. I came up with two, but I'm going to give you one right here, right now. Coastal Scents Revealed 2 palette. And this is Rose Gold Goodness. This is there's some mattes in here. There's some great mattes in here. Uh, holiday looks, everyday looks, night looks. Stunning. So much fun. So much fun. There are a couple that are very chunky on the glitter side. And I don't even care. I figured it out. Love this thing. Love it. And no 2014 favorite should be without, in my opinion, Too Faced Chocolate Bar. Of course, we've got the sheet over the top. And it's just a fabulous palette of neutrals. I mean, and the smellage. Oh my gosh! Okay, the eyes are done. Uh, let's do some cheeks. Very first blush I purchased in this Reboot um, Physician's Formula blush. 
it's one of those mosaics and this is blushing peach and you can stay for this mosaic you can stay here and get a lighter neutraler color or you can go to the bottom and really go high intense peach or mix it all together and get a nice warm neutral peach warm neutral it's closer to neutral and neutrals when you don't know what you're doing are always a win so physician's formula blushing peach first and still favorite um, also on the peach party soap and glory peach party and this is called apricot jam actually and it's got great highlights this is really shimmery but not glittery um, and you can pick up all different colors and combinations so you can go sparkle light pink you can go pink medium pink you can go peachy peachy you can go dark peachy peachy all the way around straight highlight sparkly contour eyeshadow blush contour this is great this is soap and glory peach party um, last thing for the face um, first purchased and still favorite bronzer um, this is the Milani baked bronzer in shade 04 glow and it's just got a subtle mine still I think has overspray it's gold overspray a little bit or maybe it's throughout I haven't gotten very far into it I use this four or five times a week I use this um, in the hollows of my cheeks. I do my hairline, I do my jawline, and I'll carry it down a little bit uh, to even out tan color, especially closer to summer. Now I don't, really don't need to so much. Um, oh, I missed one for the eyes. Mica Beauty, this is a new find. Eye primer. This was in a November boxy charm, and I have repurchased. So I don't run out ever, but I'll—I mean, I've got two years worth probably. As you can see I actually made a dent finally. Um, this stuff is counteracting the crepiness specifically of this eye, but. This eye it makes it go away completely, but this eye is like ten times more creepy. Wonderful stuff. Wonderful. Okay, I have six lip products here, and that's gonna be it. And then I'm gonna sign off because it's a really long video. Um, Elf lip liner in Spice, and it is a. Mm. Brick red, barn red, really nice. Um, and this one is Revlon Color Stay Lip Liner in Nudes. I wasn't going to swatch, but these are just my faves. I can see them there. Spice is redder than the Nudes. Great lip liners. <clears throat> especially for the combinations I'm going to show you okay uh, favorite lip crayon Neutrogena Moisture Smooth Color Stick and Juicy Peach it also smells peach I have a theme going on here peach 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 okay um, lip balm Nivea Olive Oil and Lemon I just get to see that okay uh, holy grail lip gloss I don't want to ever be without it I hope they never stop making it from julep uh, the color posh it's kind of this black honey color 
awesome by itself or over a liner either of these and also with everything else um, and I'm calling this my lipstick favorite because it's in a lipstick tube format but this is the Revlon color burst lip butter in fig jam you think this would be dark for me but I wear it all the time especially going out you can see I've destroyed the tip and especially over one of these liners fake jam you can kind of see my everyday look right there so those are my 2014 favorites can't find the remote to turn the camera off. It's buried under the pile. This is Deborah, and I'm signing off.